All that's going on in politics right now from elections next week in Shelby County to the presidential race, supporters in both parties are gearing up. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pepper Baker. And I'm Richard Ransom. In Whitehaven, among those gearing up is a newly formed group of Republicans wanting their voices heard and unfazed that an overwhelming number of their neighbors are Democrats. Our Kevin McNamara is here to tell us what they're hoping to accomplish. Kevin. Yeah, Richard, the Whitehaven Republican Club is celebrating its one-year anniversary. And tonight, the group gathered in hopes to take a step in the right direction when it comes to voting next week and in November. A lot of people want to give Whitehaven a bad rap, but some really great people here in Whitehaven. For the past 20 years, Democrats have dominated politics in Whitehaven. However, tonight, a group of Republicans came out to the Georgette and Cato Johnson YMCA to celebrate a year of their organization amidst arguably one of the most important elections in a lifetime. A race placing presumably Vice President Kamala Harris against Republican candidate, former President Donald Trump. They explained their views on the candidates and Harris replacing President Joe Biden for the nomination. They're not going to fall for the fact, oh, we got somebody that, that is black and we should vote for them, irrespective, irrespective of the fact that we've got real serious problems, kitchen table problems, we can't feed our children. Special guest John DeBerry, a senior advisor to Governor Bill Lee, echoed those concerns. I think America expected President Biden to run for president again. So. The fact that he is not the nominee and that he has resigned, that is unique in American history. And I guess we're all just kind of watching to see what happens. Here's why this group of Whitehaven residents are voting Republican. Getting out within the community, we have a good platform, but just uh, articulating that platform effectively to individuals in the inner city as well as the suburbs as well. So just articulating the message a little bit better. The Memphis matters. The metropolitan area has, has hope, uh, a bright future and for people to be encouraged to make the right decisions. The group meets every month and says some of their concerns include economic freedom, strong law and order principles, and reducing inflation. The state primary is coming up in less than a week, August 1st. We'll have all the coverage of it right here on ABC 24.